Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Kimotor Facel 2207.5 motor. In this video I'm going to bench test the 1950kV version of this motor using my new RC Benchmark Moto Frost stand, and then using this new build I'm going to head outdoors and test it using 4, 5 and 6S batteries. In terms of specs, the Timotor Pacel 2207.5 motor is available in three colors, which indicate its KV version. The 1750 and 1950 KV versions are compatible with up to 6S batteries, and the 2550 KV version is compatible with up to 4S batteries. In addition, the weight of the motor, including the full length of the 15cm long 20 gauge silicon wires, is 37.6 grams. On the top side of the motor bell, you can find the grip pattern for better securing the propeller. The motor is going to be secured using 2mm screws and the mounting pattern is 12 by 12 mm The motor bell is secured using a 2mm hex screw. And after removing it, here you can see what the stator and motor bell look like. The height of the stator is 7.5mm and its diameter is 22mm. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 high quality magnets. In order to reduce weight, the motor shaft is hollow. And inside the motor bell, on the top side of the shaft, you can find a rubber o-ring, which should extend the lifespan of the motor. Now after this quick introduction, let's go over the thrust test results. The propeller that I used is the Timotor 5147. I ran the test three times, the first time using 4S, then using 5S, and finally using 6S batteries. And by the way, you can find a link to the test results in the description box down below. In case you're not familiar with thrust tests, let's first go over the metadata. The left column is the ESC signal in percentage, so for example over here the throttle was set to 40% and over here it was set to 100%. The second column is the thrust in grams. The third one is the voltage of the battery, and by the way soon I'm going to switch to a power supply which is going to provide us with a more consistent results. The fourth column is the measured current. The fifth column is the measured motor electrical speed in run per minute. So for example, when the throttle was set to 100% using a 4S battery, the motor was spinning at 24,520 runs per minute. The sixth column is the electrical power, which is the result of the multiplication of the current and the voltage. And finally, the last column is the overall efficiency, which is the result of dividing the measured thrust in grams by the electrical power. So the result that we are getting is the grams per watt, a value that can help us to compare the motor using different propellers, and also using different batteries. So basically thrust tests are important because they are going to help us to identify the equipment that we need to use and also check if the motor suits our needs in terms of performance and efficiency. For example in this thrust test you can see that the maximum measured thrust using a 6S battery was 1.7 kilograms and the maximum measured current was 43.2 amperes so I recommend to use at least a 45 ampere ESC. So overall, as far as I can tell, the Timotor Pacer motors are a cheaper alternative to the Timotor F60 Pro 4 motors, which are more powerful, but also more power hungry. I'm going to wrap up this review with the video of the thrust test and with some flight footage, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.